On this week's T3 TrueNAS Tech Talk, the Chris's talk about the TrueNAS API and take viewer questions about using special VDEVs with large media collections, as well as the possibility of buying an enterprise license for custom hardware. Let's start with the API. TrueNAS has a versioned API, which is important for the user since everything we do in the web UI is through the API. Without it, there would be no UI. All of these functions go through the middleware, which is the layer between the web UI and the OS itself. Over time, the API calls change and that breaks some of the old functionality. Now that this is versioned, any breaking changes have advanced notice which helps speed up development and allows developers to more easily maintain their code. The API also works for non-developers who want to script or maybe automate certain functions of TrueNAS. If you have a feature request for an API call that you would want to use, I will include that link in the video description below. Moving on to viewer questions, a user asked if his 100 plus terabytes of Linux ISOs in a pool would benefit from special VDEVs in any way. It may help a little bit for browsing through the folder via SMB share or something like that, but most of the metadata will end up in the memory arc anyway, so it won't really help very much there. Chris's recommendation for faster media browsing was to use a media server like Plex or Jellyfin and then to put the config for that media server on an SSD. The media server will build a cache of images and information about the media on the media server. And by putting that on a fast storage medium like an SSD, it will feel a lot snappier than if it's on an HDD. There was also a question about the future possibility of a BYOD or bring your own device enterprise license. Currently, the only way to get enterprise licensing for TrueNAS is by purchasing pre-built hardware from IX Systems, but there will be an option in the future to just buy the license as a standalone. No dates were announced. This question was in conjunction with TrueNAS Connect, which requires an enterprise license for certain features. Many users don't realize that if you have built a hand-built computer, just by loading TrueNAS on there doesn't mean you can get enterprise features, but in the future, it has been announced that they will be offering these licenses. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about doing automation with API calls or whether or not you would consider buying an enterprise license from IX for your custom TrueNAS server. Give us a like by clicking the thumbs up button below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching everyone.